Good morning. Good morning. All right, so this Sunday is Ascension Sunday. Um, the Lord left us, his whole body left and went back to his heavenly Father, and that's what we celebrate this weekend. But he did something very important because when he left, he left a mission. He left a mission to go to the world, to make followers, to make further disciples. He said to his disciples, through the power of the Holy Spirit, you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing and teaching them. My friends, everybody here is a part of that missionary team. We are all missionaries for God. But I'm going to ask you, let's do a reality check on our mission, on our collective mission. There was a, a, a study has been done now post-COVID comparing Catholic attendance before COVID and after COVID. 47% of Hispanic Catholics attend Mass now. It was 65% in 2019. For white Catholics, 45% attend Mass sometimes. It was 73% before COVID. For people who have converted to the Protestant faiths, 38% of all white evangelical converts are former Catholics. 46% of all white mainline Protestants are former Catholics. Almost half of the Catholics have left for the Protestant faith. Lastly, we have the nuns, right? The people who profess no faith whatsoever. 37% of them were once here, former Catholics. And there's a lot of reasons why people leave the church, and many of our friends have told us why they've left the church. But there's one, I think, that is unacceptable, and that is that the Catholic Church is unfriendly and unwelcoming. Unfriendly and un unwelcoming. So, I want to do a poll here. How many people here know the name of the person sitting next to you? Raise your hand. I'm not talking about your wife either. <laughs> I see some married couples that didn't raise their hands. <laughs> I know Jackson too. All right. How many of you know anybody else's name that's, that's sitting near you? Anybody? Okay, there's good. There's a few hands. How many of you greet people before Mass or after Mass? People you don't know. The hands went down. <laughs> all right. So let's be honest. We all have that tendency to make worship a personal experience. I'm just here to hear God's words and to get Jesus in communion. That's why I'm here. And for me, growing up, my family had what I called the LIFO method. Like, who's accountants here or business people? LIFO. You know what that is for everybody else? Last in, first out. We sat as close to that door, not that door, door in my hometown. We sat as close to that door as we could because as soon as Mass was over, we were gone because my dad, didn't, my dad didn't come to Mass. He sat outside in the car. Car was running. <laughs> it was boom, hurry up, get in the car. We got to go. And I, I adopted the same philosophy. Um, I know that when my wife and I started coming here to St. Vincent's, I sat right over there by where you are right now. Yeah, wave your hand. That was my, that was my pew. Uh, because guess what? You can get out that door really quick. <laughs> and I told my wife, who's very social, everybody, everybody knows my wife, I said, don't look at anybody. They may talk to you. <laughs> we got to go. And that's what we did. So where am I going with this? Does any of this sound familiar to any of you? It should. And it does, I'm sorry to say. But being a Christian means that we have accepted the mission from God. We have accepted his mission that he left us. 
But do we? Do we accept that mission? And there's two things I want you to, to think about your mission. Because if you're baptized, I'm sorry, you have accepted that mission, whether you wanted to or not. But there's two things to think about for your mission. One, it's not optional. And two, it needs to be joyful. It needs to be joyful. First, it's not optional. It's not someone else's job to do it for you. It was Jesus' command was not a, a suggestion. It wasn't a recommendation. It wasn't a request. No, it's a command. Do it. Go and make disciples. It's not something we do when it's convenient or when we feel like it. It is your mission. And it's not just meant for clergy. No, everybody here is a disciple. And it's not just for adults either. All the young people and all the children that are tuning me out. No, Evan, Jackson, it's for you too. Yay. Don't wait to be an adult to become a missionary. So that's one. It's not optional. Two, be joyful, be welcoming in carrying out the mission. Remember what the saying is, you'll attract more flies with honey than vinegar. Do we attract people with the way we act? If you want a successful mission, you can't be negative, you can't be judgy, you can't be opinionated. You have to be, this is a great acronym, real, real. Respecting, encouraging, affirming, and loving. We must be real if you want to be a missionary. So you think about, you think about how well you're doing in that, in that area. Consider this story. There was a man who came to mass and he had a hat on. And immediately he was greeted by the first usher and the usher said, thank you for joining us today. Take your hat off. And he went, but he went on. And then another usher came up. This would not be our ushers. Uh, another usher came up and said, sir, we thank you for joining us today, but we ask you that you remove your hat. Well, he went on anyway. He went and sat in his pew, and five different parishioners came up to him during the Mass and said, uh, it's good to see you here, but will you take your hat off? Well, the priest, the pastor is up here, and he noticed all this, and he noticed the man with the hat. So after Mass... He went and he got the man with the hat, and he said, we're so happy you're here. Thank you for visiting us today. Um, but would you please uh, respect our tradition and not wear your hat inside the church? And the man said, wow, this is amazing. I was greeted by the pastor, two ushers, and five parishioners. That's amazing. And the priest was like, why is that so amazing? Because he said, I come here every Sunday for the last 10 years, and neither you nor anybody else has ever talked to me. <laughs> Sound familiar? My friends, being a missionary means we are part of one family, one big family. The question for you from the song Remember the song? They will know we are Christians by our love. Will they know you're a Christian by your love? Will they? When Jesus ascended into heaven, he left us a very clear mission. Go and be my disciple. And he said, I'll fortify you. I'll strengthen you. I'll give you the Holy Spirit. He'll come. He'll be your guide. He'll give you wisdom. And he also said, I will be with you always. You'll never be alone. So my friends, that is our mission. One day, everyone here will stand before God and before Jesus, and it will be like our final exam. It will be a review of our life. And Jesus will ask you questions, but among the most important, he will ask you, did you obey my command? Did you go and make disciples? What did you do with your life? What did you do with the gifts, the opportunities, all the talents that I gave you? Did you use them for your mission? My friends, 
as you stand there looking into his all-knowing and his all-searching eyes. My friends, what will you say?